Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be covering parts of speech. The following parts of speech will be covered in today's video. Nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, conjunctions, articles, and prepositions. Let us begin this video talking about nouns. Nouns are naming words. There are different types of nouns that you will see on the screen. Common nouns are naming everyday objects. For example, a chair. A proper noun is the name of people or places. For example, South Africa. Collective nouns is the name given to a group. For example, a swarm of bees. Lastly, an abstract noun. An abstract noun is a feeling or emotion. It is anything that you cannot touch. An example of an abstract noun is love. Next, I want to speak about pronouns. Pronouns can take the place of a noun. Possessive adjectives are not pronouns. For example, it is my book. In first person narration, which is told from your own perspective, a subject can be I, which is singular, we, which is plural. The object can be we, singular, us, plural. Possessive would be mine, singular, and ours, plural. Let us continue with pronouns. In second person narration, which is told as if you are speaking to someone else, the subject can be you as singular as well as plural. The object can be you as singular as well as plural. For possessive, yours can be seen as singular and plural. Lastly, in third person narration, which is told from the outsider's perspective, the subject can be he, she, or it for singular and they for plural. The object can be him, her, or it for singular and them for plural. Possessive, his or hers for singular and theirs for plural. Let us move on to adjectives. Proper nouns can be used as adjectives. For example, the Cape Town beaches. It can be used by describing the noun. For example, the beautiful lady. It can also be used in degrees of comparison. Positive way is to refer to one thing. Comparative is to compare two things, usually ending in ER. Superlative describes the best or the most, usually ending in ER in EST. Now let us look at verbs. What are verbs? Verbs are doing words. They are finite verbs which are verbs that can stand alone without any helping verbs. It has a subject and a tense. For example, play, played, shall play. Shall is not a helping verb. It is part of the future tense. An infinite verb are verbs that need to have a to next to a finite verb in order for it to make sense. This is important. Do not split the infinitive. For example, to definitely complete or definitely going to complete. More on verbs. Auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. Examples could be am, are, be, can, could, has, had, have, is, may, might, must, shall, should, was, were, will, and would. These words can be classified as finite verbs depending on how it is used in a sentence. Gerunds are 
verbs that are usually ending in ing. This is used as a noun. For example, the crying of the baby was excruciating. Now let us look at adverbs. Adverbs add information about the verb. There are different types of adverbs. The first one being adverbs of time. This questions when. Was it yesterday, today, tomorrow, or now? Another adverb is place. This questions where. Was it here, there, nowhere, or everywhere? Degree. Degree questions to what extent? Very, almost, fairly, extremely, well, or nearly. Another adverb is frequency. This questions how often? Was it always, never, seldom, or frequently? The last adverb is manner. This questions how? Was it quickly, harshly, fast, or slow? Now let us look at conjunctions. Conjunctions are joining words. Starting conjunctions are conjunctions that start a sentence. Examples are although, however, since, or whether. Subordinating conjunctions connects a main and subordinate clause. Examples are after, although, once, as, because, unless, or whether. Coordinating conjunctions connects two main clauses. This can be remembered by fanboys, which stands for for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Other examples are either or, neither nor, not only but, or both and. The next part of speech is articles. Articles precede nouns or adjectives. The definitive refer referring to something specific. For example, the indefinitive is referring to non-specific. For example, a or an. An is used before a vowel sound, where a is used before a consonant sound. The last part of speech we will be looking at in today's video is prepositions. Prepositions describe the position of something. It never ends a sentence and it always comes before a noun or pronoun or else it is considered an adverb of place or time. That brings us to the end of today's video on parts of speech. Thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at everydaystudies101 at gmail.com Please like this video if you've enjoyed. You can comment down below and share the video. Credits for this presentation goes to Slidescope. The material is from the English Handbook and Study Guide by Beryl Lutron and Marcel Pincus. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more.